Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I just wanted to go over and talk about space heaters in a grid down situation. I, have, I basically have a conversation with several customers daily regarding using space heaters or just what would I recommend for heat uh, in a grid down situation when you're relying on a portable power station. So I want to give you my feedback on why I think space heaters are not a good idea. Give you the simple math so you can understand based on the size of the power station you have, how you can calculate it. Very, very simple math so you can understand. And give you some ideas on what I think is the best solution to go with um, and where to buy that on Amazon. You're, you're not going to get that through us. So what I'm going to talk about is space heater here. Um, this is just an example of one. There's several different types. They usually have two settings, high and medium or high and lower, whatever you want to call it. High will draw 1500 watts of power. Low will draw basically half of that, 750 watts. So traditionally, that's what it is. So I'm going to give examples of three power stations, all the same battery size. First will be the Anchor Powerhouse 767. Then will be the uh, the EcoFlow Delta Delta 2 Max right here. And then underneath here, so this guy right here, is the Blue Eddy AC200 Max. So all three of these are very popular brands. All three of them are the same battery capacity which is 2048 watt hour. So the reason I don't think that's a very good idea to run the space heater, here's a simple math so you can understand. You would take 2048, divide it by the high setting, which is 1500 watts, which is basically 1.3 or 1.36 hours. That's how much heat you'd get, 1.36 hours on high setting, or you would double that if you go to low setting. So you'd be basically 1.72 hours. That's all you would get, or sorry, let me rephrase that, 3.72 hours is what I meant to say, guys. Um, no, no, sorry, you would be 2.72. 2 My brain's not working here with the math, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all you would get out of that. So you would have a very short amount of time where you would have heat. Now, why I'm saying this is very important, we're in Calgary, Alberta. This past weekend, we just had, now this is going to be an extre extreme, not everybody's going to have this weather, but we just had minus 55 Celsius this weekend for our coldest. We had um, the government sent us warnings via text saying there could be rolling blackouts for the energy grid, that it could go down based on different areas. And we actually experienced that today for about one and a half, maybe just under two hours. The power here at the house was actually down. So if it goes down, and for us, this would be worst case scenario. A lot of people, especially in the US, aren't gonna have these cold temperatures there's no way this power station is going to heat your house with that space heater if you need it to run for at least 24 hours. It, it's, it's not possible. Even if you max out the solar on this, it's not possible to do that. So what I'm going to recommend is a portable diesel heater. So right here, this one that's in red, you can buy that off of Amazon. So I think uh, here in Canada, they're about 200 to 300 dollars in the u.s they should be just under 200 dollars uh, just do a review like look at the reviews on amazon uh, this is what i would recommend and the reason being let's just do the math on it again same size power station either the anchor the blue eddy or the um, EcoFlow here you're looking at that would run now just the power not the diesel and I'll, I'll put in the description or i'll put in the video i just i haven't memorize how much diesel it is it's not a lot that it uses but i'll have that in there you're looking at 48 to 60 hours compared to 1.3 and this is 18,000 btu that's way more heat than what's coming out of this guy here so literally you could yeah you could heat your home with that you could granted minus 55 like we experienced it's not going to freeze in the home, but it's definitely going to keep it a lot warmer than that one little space heater would. So that's why I do recommend these over the space heaters. Now, I know a lot of YouTube influencers, they're pushing the, um, the propane heat. I don't have one here as an example. Buddy Heaters, like that's the brand that everybody knows about. Um, a lot of them, they're selling them or they get an, an affiliate link for that. So that's why they're pushing them. Uh, my guess is they haven't experienced using it for more than a day. Uh, propane heat, if you're not if you're not familiar with it, is wet heat. So if you use it in an enclosed space for a long amount of time, so more than a day, you're actually going to have moisture buildup, which is actually actually going to seep into you. It's you're going to feel colder than than what the if you have a temperature gauge in there, it's going to feel colder than what that temperature gauge says it is. So I would not rely on 
propane heat for a prolonged amount of time. For a short amount of time, maybe. It's a good idea. But for the price, to get a diesel heater off of Amazon, um, or wherever you want to buy it, but Amazon is, is where I got this one from, they're very inexpensive. They use very little diesel and very little power. That's the big thing. So now let's use an example here as well. I'm going to use a very large power station. So I've got a Zendur here. That's this guy in the bottom here. This is the super base. Um, it's the 6400. So that's 6400 watt hour. However, I've got two of their expansion batteries. Each are 6400 watt hour. So the total for all three is 19,200 watt hour. So let's again use the same example. And I did run it over the weekend because we did. We were told that we were going to get rolling blackouts. We didn't over the weekend, but I did just in case. Had the space heater running. I got under 13 hours. Under 13 hours. That's all it was to heat this space here. Just to see. And that was on the high setting. Granting it would have been just under 26 hours if I had it on the low setting. But let's compare to the diesel heater again. So the diesel heater, based on that math, would be 432 hours to, let's say, 540. Depending on the setting that you have it at. But do you see the difference there? Thir just under 13 or 432? That's, that's a huge difference. You could heat your home indefinitely off of one of these power stations if you have solar as well to run it in a grid down situation and you have a small amount of diesel set aside. You don't need a lot of diesel. And like I said, I'll have that in the description here in a moment. Now, out of these three power stations, I'm going to let you know, based on my opinion, what I think is the better one again for a grid down situation. Just talking about the power station. Like here is the expansion battery for the Blue Eddy. All three of these models do offer an expansion battery option, but just talking about the power station. So out of the three, the top for me would be the Anchor Powerhouse 767. Now, why is that? There's a, there's a couple reasons here. First one is this. The Anchor Powerhouse 767, it has two DC plugins, which are the cigarette lighter plugins. Why do I think that's important? In a grid down situation, if you have the option of plugging into the DC or the AC, AC being your standard wall plug-in, your 110, this is going to draw less power. So I would run my diesel heater off of this, or if I needed to, two diesel heaters, or a diesel heater and a fridge freezer. You can even buy DC electric fry pans, what have you. There's other devices that you can buy as well too, but that's what I would run off of that. The other reason for this is when I compare this to, let's say, EcoFlow, now, I don't have experience with Blue Eddy, so please put in the comments if you've seen what I'm about to talk about with EcoFlow here. The DC port on the back, and they only have one, and same with the Blue Eddy. There's only one for this AC200 Max. Uh, I know there's one on the expansion battery, but we're, not, we're just talking about these for right now. This past summer, I was, I was out for about four nights out in the mountains. I had a portable fridge freezer in the back of the 4Runner, and I noticed on more than one occasion, I'd wake up in the morning... And my fridge is turned off. And now why is that? Because a compressor in the fridge, if it's not continually running, which it never is, um, this, this specific unit right here, the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max, or any of the EcoFlow products from what I've been seeing, will actually turn off that DC plug if they don't see power for a certain amount of time. The anchor doesn't do that. I ran this continu continuously with two fridge freezers plugged in. And I even tried it just with one just to see, did both, I did each of the ports and no issues whatsoever. This stayed running. So please put in the comments if you've seen, is there a fix for that for the, uh, the EcoFlow Delta series or any of the EcoFlows? Do they have a fix for that? Is it a software update? Because I'm unsure if they do. And the Blue Eddy, I haven't tried it with the Blue Eddy. Do they do the same thing as the EcoFlow? But I know for sure the Anchor does not. The other reason I really like the Anchor over these two models based on, on what you see here, um, let's say I had a, a bad back problem, or let's say you know I can't lift a lot of weight. Well, this has two wheels on the back. It has an extender handle, so it makes it a lot easier to, 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 to move around as well too. So that's the other reason I really like the Anchor Powerhouse 767. Second for me would be EcoFlow. EcoFlow, they offer phenomenal products. They offer great customer service. The only negative, like I said, is I don't like that cigarette lighter plug in on the back how that operates so again if there is a fix please let us know put that in the comments below third would be the blue eddy out of in this category right here blue eddy i they make really good product i'm happy with the product 
I'm not happy with the customer service. So um, we're a dealer for Blue Eddy, but we've literally taken them off our website. We have a couple things there. Uh, they're, they're poor with us, which means they're poor with our customers, and that's not acceptable. But other than that, they do have good products, so I'm very happy with that. Other than that, guys, I just wanted to let you know, give you a quick idea why I don't re uh, recommend um, uh, using a space heater in a grid down situation. Please don't rely on it because now you know the math and you know it, you're not going to get much heat out of it. Get a portable diesel heater. They're inexpensive. And like I said, I'll put in the, in the description there, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about how much diesels use. You really don't need a lot of uh, backup diesel to run that. And diesel can last for a year. Just put uh, a stabilizer in it and just rotate it. That's, that's not a big deal for that. So I just want to make sure that you have real life expectations based on the world we're in right now. Like we just experienced it today, almost two hours. We had the power out because of the cold weather we had here. And I know there's a lot of the cold weather coming from where we're at here in Canada going south and, and potentially you might experience it as well too. Hopefully you don't, you don't experience minus 55 uh, degrees like we had here. But uh, yeah, like if you've got to rely on backup heat don't rely on a space heater they're not reliable because they're power pigs it's the same thing in the summertime air conditioning but that's that's a whole nother video that we can talk about other than that guys i just wanted to say i'm going to have links to the anchor to um to the ecoflow to the zendur uh at, at the bottom of the video there i'll have links to some of our solar blankets as you know um we do offer our solar blankets this is our 220 watt this is our 300 watt solar blanket here any of these will run any of these devices also, we do have Faraday bags in stock. I made sure to have a lot of those. And to give you perspective, one of our Faraday bags will hold an AC200 Max or two, or an AC200 Max and two of the backup batteries to give you um, perspective on what it'll hold. Or it'll hold an Anchor Powerhouse 767 and an expansion battery. Or it'll hold a EcoFlow Delta II Max, an expansion battery, or two Delta II Maxes. Just to kind of give you perspective, or a Delta Pro. Just to give you an idea, it'll even hold uh, a small Honda generator, Honda 2200 generator, just to kind of give you perspective. We are shipping within three business days. I made sure to have a lot of stock here because of world events and what's going on and what could be coming for our supply chain. So we do have stock. We are shipping. Any questions, please reach out. My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Um, other than that, please like and sus subscribe to our videos. I don't read from a script. I just want to give you the meat and potatoes of our experience, of our discussions with our customers, when we see common denominators on what people are talking about based on world events and what people are concerned about. And, you know, just, you know, how can we help out in, in regards to that? So again, I don't have links for it, but just double check Anchor, or sorry, not Anchor, um, Amazon for the portable diesel heater. That's the red one here. This is a military grade diesel heater. This is the one that I rely on. I've got a couple of these and one of these, but because we're at a higher elevation where we live, um, and actually this is good for you to know as well too, the inexpensive Chinese diesel heaters, and yes, they all come from China. It is what it is. Uh, they, um, if you're at a higher elevation or you go up in the mountains, these, they, they can gum up on you, the, uh, the injector for the diesel. So you could have issues with the exhaust and it actually running well. This one you won't, but you're looking at a larger price point for that. But that's why I rely on this when I'm out overlanding or if I needed to, uh, to run off of that here in the city we'd be fine with this diesel heater other than that um, any questions please reach out my contact information will be in there hope everybody's keeping warm with the weather that's that's here hopefully everybody had a great great christmas and new year's it's 2024 <laughs> um we're in interesting times we'll just leave it at that just remember family and friends you know be there for your family and friends and vice versa that's all that matters right now okay we'll talk to you soon any questions let us know bye then